Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We are talking about some big questions, some theories today, and start talking about the process of when to buy teams, when to buy TOTS cards, batch three cards, when to buy basically anything that you need for your team. Um, upcoming this week of batch three summer heat, the end of this promo where things are kind of coming down to an end and we're getting curious and kind of wondering, what is EA going to do after this promo? So we're going to talk about a lot of very popular cards today that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. Is this stuff going to rise? What's going to happen? And I'm going to basically give you my best shot because right now, again, we don't know what's going to happen, right? Summer heat is ending in three days. In two days from now on Friday, 6 p.m. UK, summer heat is done and dusted. We'll talk about the potential scenarios that could happen today. And also, I want to look back at yesterday and about the new content, kind of explain that, what happened with that, and also look ahead to today's content because we might get another Dynamic Duo SBC today too, and that could be pretty hype. That'd be pretty dope if we saw that. So first things first though, what's going to happen with this market in the next couple of days pertaining to these team of the season cards and stuff that is in packs that's going to get hit with supply at rewards. I've been telling a lot of people this whole week that if you want to buy a TOTS card, I think you want to buy it um, either right before rewards, if there's any sell-off of people selling their cards right before uh, weekend league rewards this week, or I think you want to buy them within the first couple of hours, like the hour, two, or three of rewards when these cards are getting packed tradable on the market, because all these team of the seasons are going to get supplied um, that are in packs. Now we'll talk about stuff that's out of packs a bit separately, but a lot of you guys want to buy some of these team of the season cards that have dropped so much in price you can now afford them. And you're looking to say, hey, when is the best time for me to buy this? Because I need it for my team. When can I pick this card up? Because I need him, right? And that's what I'm going to try to answer today and talk to you about because it's a big question, right? Ramos right now, 700,000 coins. A lot of these cards, you know, every card is almost, it's a different scenario, a different story, right? This Ramos card's dropped a little bit this week. He's dropped down a tiny bit from where he was earlier. He's like 700,000 coins. Uh, but then other cards have actually gone up in price. De Bruyne was like in the 1.9 range, I think, on the weekend. And I think right now he's over 2 mil. So like uh, this card has actually popped up uh, a couple hundred thousand coins. And this happens though, right? These are rare cards um, that a lot of people don't have on the market. They're just rare cards. 99 rated cards are rightfully so pretty rare. So these cards don't get supplied that much. And, you know, a lot of times for these really high tier TOTS cards... Um, they do get supply to rewards, but it's not a very high amount of supply and they rebound very fast. And honestly, your best time to buy these guys in is whenever there's panic selling. And that makes me want to say, is there going to be any other panic selling this week? Based on the content that we saw yesterday with the Pulisic SBC, there really wasn't that much panic. Some left wings in the Prem went down. I think Sun Tots went down a little bit more even after he went down because of Treza Gay the day before. So what is going to cause these cards to actually go down in price from where they're at right now? And in my opinion, the thing that is going to make them go down in price from where they're at right now is most likely going to be uh, either a massive dynamic duo SBC that would come out today, which some people have said it could be a pretty good one. I don't have leaks. I, I don't know leaks. I don't know uh, stuff that is coming out early ahead of time. Uh, basically, all that I know is what you know from Twitter, right? Twitter is where a lot of those people talk about leaks, uh, and I don't have any of those. Uh, but that would be the place to kind of look out for those today. If there are any, uh, that's where they would be technically. So, you know, do I have leaks about a dynamic duo? No. Could there be a really hype SBC today that drops the market for a short period of time? If it's an SBC that everybody wants to go out and do that is cheap, uh, but expensive enough that people have to sell cards to go do. Yes. You could see some panic selling today on a Wednesday around the content drop time. That's when a lot of cards kind of hit their lowest anyways. Um, because people just, have been used to selling cards now. I think EA, especially with this promo and with Team of the Season, have really gotten people used to panic selling their cards every day around the 6 p.m. UK time frame, just because there's new content every day coming out and um, people know they have to be ready and they have to have stuff, uh, they have to have coins available to maybe participate in that new content. But other than the Dynamic Duo SBC that could come today, I really don't see any other content coming this week that would really cause a lot of panic on the market and a lot of panic selling, at least before rewards time, right? I don't think we're getting any more upgrade packs. I don't think we're going to get any more 
Um, you know, maybe a tots guarantee, maybe an ultimate tots guaranteed pack would be something that would crash the market a little bit, but I feel like it would be cheap enough that it wouldn't, you know, crash the market that much. And it's also not repeatable. So that's another thing as well. It's not a repeatable SBC or a repeatable pack, but I don't think that supply or that SBC would really hurt the market. If we got like an ultimate tots guaranteed SBC, which I don't even know if we're going to get, cause we have this repeatable one out right now anyway. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm saying, I think Thursday is going to be the best buy time for anything that is in packs, right? Tots cards like Mbappe, Neymar, you're, you're going to want to get on those as soon as you can, right? As soon as you can, you're probably going to get, want to get back on those, uh, because they're going to get bought up fast. And people that have coins at rewards this week, there's going to be people that make a lot of coins at rewards, like it's been every single week. Um, because people are packing these team of the season cards. People are going to pack them even more this week since they're actually in packs. You're going to see icons like this Hullet, 4.1 mil. This guy was 3.8 mil on Saturday. Uh, you're going to see some of these really popular cards start to go up in price because uh, they don't get packed a lot. And guys that make a lot of coins from rewards, aka elite above top 100 rewards, they're still making a lot of coins every week. So you're going to start to see uh, these cards continue to trickle up in price, I think, after rewards. Um, because people are going to buy them up, right? Especially for the out of pack stuff. Like the Mbappe for birthday is already up in price because people just started buying them. The content this week, wow, man, 4.2 mil, 4.3 million coins for a foot birthday Mbappe after it was 3.75 mil last week in packs. I think people maybe envisioned him um, dropping a little bit this week with all the tots prices that could have been dropping as well. And unfortunately, that didn't really happen because the content this week, it's been decent, but not like insane enough to like drop a card like this. Obviously, this guy's not going to get supplied at rewards um, tradable. The only way he will get supplied tradable would be through the Elite Plus packs. He could get packed. So you might see a couple fresh ones pop up on the market, but I don't think that would really crash his price. Uh, he's not in regular packs, but he will be in reward packs for the uh, Elite and Above packs. Same thing with... Um, actually not the same thing, but uh, St. Maximin kind of provides an interesting situation as well. This is a very, very meta card that's actually rising right now. This dude was 450,000 coins earlier today. He'll probably get back down to that point at, in the next day or so. He just fluctuates around a lot, but this guy's not in packs either, right? Some of the out of packs cards, because maybe their toss is in packs and they have a foot birthday version that is not in packs because of that being the case. Those kind of cards, if they're really, really meta, you might see a rise on them. Maybe a guy like Griezmann. Uh, maybe a guy who else would be an, another example of that, of a foot birthday card that um, would be having out of packs tots card right now. Sissoko, no. Havertz, probably not. Griezmann, Mbappe would be the number two, number one and two examples of that for me. Possibly Rashford, just because of the position change. And um, we've had some English SBCs lately. We, had a, we have a lot of Man U cards coming out lately. Actually, he's up right now. The Daniel James actually makes this interesting. He was 250 earlier today, peaked at 290, back down to 267. So if you would see this card at maybe like a 240, 250,000 coin range, I would get interested again if there's any sort of panic selling today on these out of packs cards because a guy like Daniel James is going to make this rise. People want to link those cards together. Um, Bruno, maybe Bruno's special cards that are in, you know, available in game go up a tiny bit. I just feel like everybody who would want a Bruno probably already got that card. But most people are worried about these cards, right? Team of the seasons. What can you expect on rewards day, right? Let's say you want to buy Carvel Hall for your team. You know, Carvel Hall this week has gone down to a low point of around 110K, it looks like, on the PlayStation. 109,000 coins. Again, you see a, a common theme here is that a lot of their lowest times on the market is around the content drop time. Just because people are interacting with the new content, then they kind of rise back up into the nighttime. So maybe you look at today on Wednesday for that as another possible opportunity as well. If there's a lot of panic selling, but this might be the type of guy that you see during rewards drop down to like 100, 500K flat for like a very short period of time. And then he bounces back up because this is the type of card that would get packed a decent amount in rewards, but would also have enough demand to rise shortly thereafter because he provides links to so many of the most popular center backs in this game. Same thing with Lala. I know we just had the Danilo upgrade, which by the way, I need to show you that card ASAP because this card is looking saucy. 92, now 95 rated Danilo 
is a cracked out looking right back. So you might see some links to this card rise up if they haven't risen already. Um, maybe some Brazilian links and maybe some of the right backs don't rise up as much this week because this card looks incredible. EA gave him the juice on the upgraded card um, just earlier tonight. Crazy. Cra that, this might be like the best statistical right back in the game because Lala only has 93 defense. He has plus three passing. Um, Lala does, but he's also got minus five dribbling. So they, this card compared to Lala is better in my opinion. And that crazy stats on this card. So I think you're going to see a lot of people using this this weekend. Probably Shapeshifter Ronaldo is up and other um, Brazilian right mids, other Piemonte Calcio players have started to go up in price already. Kind of like that team of the year delict that we talked about earlier in the week. So if you want to buy a player for your team, again, we also have to consider what could be coming next week. What's going to come on Friday, right? So there, there is the only problem with buying your team this week is we're unsure of what EA is going to drop this week after the summer heat promo ends. And that's a lot of uncertainty, right? I see a couple scenarios with this, right? Scenario number one, they actually re they, they re put out batch three for another week. And basically summer heat is out for another week with the cards and packs, with the rewards and the SBCs, the upgrade packs. And basically they just, for some reason, tease us into thinking it's going to be one week long and then they put it out for two weeks. That's possibility number one. Possibility number two is we get nothing on Friday and the game is just kind of dead and cars start to rise, get rare, and it's really like the end of FIFA. Option number three is we have either an Icon Moments SBC that comes out on Friday or another promo that starts on Friday right after Summer Heat. I just don't know what's going to happen, boys, so I'm going to say it this way, right? It's July, and you hear people say this all the time. If you want to buy a card for your team, if you want to play foot champions with the squad, just buy the card, have fun with it, and if you lose coins, it is what it is because this is like the last full send promo. I don't know how they're going to make a promo if there is another one, even if there's a UCL related promo. What else is going to come out in this game that is going to be more hype than the cards that we've seen released during Summer Heat? I don't see anything that can surpass that amount of hype. I really don't. Um, the only thing I guess they could do that would really crash the market is that Icon Moments repeatable SBC. People would go bananas for that. And in that case as well, this week at Rewards, if you really think that's going to come, what you could do is all these TOTS cards that are SBC fodder are going to get supplied this week at Rewards, right? We're talking 87s, 88s, 89 rated cards. Like all these specials are going to get supplied at Rewards. What you might be able to do is just buy one and shuck it in the club if you're really interested in doing that. Um, even some of these 86 rated cards as well that have really good links like a Perisic or like an Eggstein uh, or a Kolarov, a left back 86 rated card for 14,000 coins with the amount of chemistry that that would provide. Maybe you club stock some of these high rated cards, maybe like the, even some of the, like the higher nineties, like 91, 92, you know, you might just buy one and throw it in the club. If you've got a lot of coins and you think an icon moments repeatable is going to come, those cards would absolutely boom. If that SPC does come, the rest of fodder is getting a little bit cheaper, but what we usually see on Thursdays is, and especially as the promo is ending, if you have fodder that is expensive, I would cash it out before rewards. If you have 82s, 83s, I would cash it out before rewards because this stuff is going to get hammered with supply. Like we saw last week and the week before fodder gets hit pretty heavily at weekend league rewards. So again, that's something I guess you could do to be proactive if you do think there's an Icon Moments SBC coming out later this week. But if there's anything that you want to buy for your team, I think what you want to do is if it's a card that's out of packs like St. Maximin or Filberto Mbappe, try to see if you can find any panic on the market today and maybe in the, the, the hours before rewards possibly. But if you want to buy Tots card that is in packs or you want to make an investment on a card that's going out of packs, I think you have to do it in the first couple hours of weekend league rewards because last year when these Tots cards were in packs, they got supplied a lot. Now it was on a, it was, they came into packs on a Wednesday, then, then they got supplied on a Thursday. Um, so there was just a lot of drop off happening there, but I feel like there's going to be a decent amount of drop off that would happen again this week with all these Tots cards in packs and with all of the foot champions rewards that will be opened this week in FIFA. So that is my advice to you guys on those cards right there. Going over the SBC content that came yesterday, Christian Pulisic, is this like a cracked out card? No, but hey, us Americans are very happy. So thank you if you are across the pond and you voted for Christian Pulisic. Thank you for letting this card win. 
us Americans are very, very happy to be able to collect a special American card in our clubs for Captain America himself. Is this SBC craftable? Yes. Is it insane card? No. It's probably pretty decent in game. So I'm going to craft him this week uh, through the rest of the 81 plus double upgrades that I do end up doing. So thank you for doing that. And then we also got a player vote today. And I want to pull up the tweet really fast from what EA tweeted out for the player vote that was actually released today. Summer Heat Bundesliga nominees. And this might be the worst vote that we've seen yet, in my opinion. Delaney is probably going to win, but St. Juice Day is very popular. And Luca Bacchio is basically a troll from EA, putting out the Luca Bacchio card that had a super overpriced Flipmas SBC. Um, in my opinion, I think Delaney wins because of the Dortmund badge and the highest rated. But St. Juice Day has got a lot of hype in the FIFA community for his screen card that came out earlier this year. We've got tons of Bundesliga center backs, though. So do we really say? I don't know if we do, but I think Delaney's going to win. That SBC will be out on rewards day on Thursday. So I'll keep an eye out for that. And honestly, other than that, today's content that will be coming today. Some people have rumored about a dynamic duo SBC that could be pretty special. Uh, and if it is, then if you're somebody that wants to buy cards for your team, I would definitely hop on that. Um, because you could see a little bit of panic and you might see a few undercuts around the 6 p.m., 7 p.m. UK time frame, just as people are going to participate in the content that is released today. Now, Bellotti and Verdi are expiring in 14 hours because the new Summer Heat Dynamic Duo players could come out then. So just be careful with those cards. If you are wanting to do them, they're going to be going away very, very soon. And then other than that, I think all the rest of the SBCs, I guess there's the voting day SBC, which I should probably do for, oh, a draft token pack. I'm all right. I'm probably not going to play draft. No offense, EA. Vidal's got three days left. Prime Icon, two days left. Uh, so the SBCs are coming down to an end, man. It's really, really, really coming down to an end. The Summer Heat promo is winding down. A lot of unknowns on what's going to happen next week. But honestly, if you want a card for your team, you have the coins to do it. I would buy that card in the first couple hours of rewards, unless it's an out of packs card. I would buy it before. And uh, honestly, man, I would just have fun and play with the cards that you want to play with Buy the guys that you want to have in your teams because it is July. And once August comes, uh, then it's basically over and done with right? That's when FIFA 21 info is going to start coming out. We're getting a FIFA 21 trailer on Thursday. So mark your calendars, I guess, on the YouTube page for EA Sports FIFA there is going to be a there's a, a trailer premiere of FIFA 21 and there's new Twitter hashtags that were put out today with like the graphics and stuff. So that is kind of interesting that we're starting to get FIFA 21 hype and stuff like that. We're probably not going to learn a lot on Thursday with the reveal trailer. In my opinion, I wouldn't get super duper excited for that, but it is something FIFA 21 related and we'll start to talk about FIFA 21 in a couple weeks, right? This game isn't dead yet, so I'm not done talking about it. That's how I'm viewing things on this game right now so good luck with your wednesdays uh if you do open any of these 81 plus packs we've been opening them like non-stop on stream tweet me if you get good stuff i love seeing good stuff from these packs and from the tots sf guaranteed so if you get good stuff let me know tweet it to me with that link in the description uh yeah boys that's kind of the video for today when to buy those those cards for your teams I think we spelled it out pretty clearly and explained all the scenarios. So make the best decision for you and what you want for your team and going forward. Don't be worried about losing coins at this stage of the game. Don't be worried about losing coins. You've got all of next year in the fall to be worried about losing coins during FIFA 21. Don't be worried right now. Have fun. Play with the players you want to play. Do SBCs you want to do. Buy cards that you want to buy. All right, boys. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace.